plant. What happened? I'm blown. I think it's always the worst, it makes me emotional, it's always the worst moments of, of Joe's life, having to choose country over life. Never mind, I know what to do. Having to sacrifice that one lamb, and it's a young woman with her whole life ahead of her. But that's what she does. She's been trained to assess high-risk scenarios under a very, very limited amount of time, seconds sometimes. And she has to make the right call. She was compromised. A tattoo. Yes, sir. Fuck's sake, Joe. There are mistakes that Joe made that she should not have made. And I probably go at her a little bit too hard knowing that she knows. Check the next one for tattoos. But reminding her that that's how serious this is and that that person might not be dead if she had not made the mistake. What next? Go to Brack, make another one. <sighs> she reluctantly has to take in Cruz and Manuelos and train her. It's just reluctance after reluctance because she knows that she's basically training these women to send them out to die. I think in the beginning of the show, Cruz is somebody who is deeply lost. She's deeply hurt. And she's just in this awful, depressing place. Dumb fucking bitch, working for $7 an hour? She has a really terrible night at her place. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're taking her side now? What the fuck is wrong with you? She's had enough, so she wakes up the next day and she finally, for the first time, makes a decision for herself. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ah! 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 And she runs for her fucking life. And as she's doing it, this Marine comes in and he saves her and she realizes like, yeah, that's what I want to do. Thanks. You came to the right place. You wanted your chance, so here it is. When? Classified. Where? Classified. I'm not done vetting you yet. I was vetted before they let me in the program. Not my program. I think Cruz is a little cocky. She's like, yeah. yeah. Cruz is a hothead. She goes in first and asks questions later. Come on, someone like Joe sees that a million times. You got any tattoos? No, ma'am. Prove it. You'll do. Get packed. We leave zero six hundred. You know, married? Hey, we don't do that. I'm not your friend and you aren't mine. She's trying not to name her cattle. I know it sounds like a very inhumane thing to say, but that saying has been there for a reason. She doesn't want to get attached because she can't guarantee her safety. I'd like to know the person responsible with saving me if my cover is blown. If your cover is blown, there is no saving you. That's what this job has taught me. You have to save yourself. Then we come get you. What she wants Cruz to do is to train that muscle, think first, think fast, act later. Because I'm not going to be there every time. It may take me longer to get to you. But Cruz, you know, has her own journey. She has to win her own fights. But Joe's not going to lose her. Whatever it was that she oversaw that caused Isabel's demise, she's not going to let it happen to Cruz. So if anything, if only Cruz knew how much Joe truly cares for her and is actually looking after her well-being. You know our little sparrow? I want to know me. Hey, if you're here to purify the water, it's right around the corner. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Who is this other lioness? We lost one not too long ago. We're taking another one on. Is she up to the challenge? And she keep up. So I'm a little hesitant to get close to her, but she earns my respect and loyalty not long after that. This is our QRF team leader, Bobby. This is two cups. That over there is Tex, Randy, and that's Tucker. I know she's a Marine, and that's what Tucker and Cruz share on this show. They're the only Marines out the group, so I know she's got to be a badass. So your name's Cruz, huh? What's that from? Not a nickname. She's tough as hell. She thinks on her feet, and uh, if she has to, she'll kill you in a second. Welcome to CIA. Welcome to the team. There's a shift in Joe, but there's also a shift in her team. It's an unspoken word. Joe looks at her team, and they're gonna die to get Cruz out. Whoa! <laughs> oh. No phone call? That I surprise you. I think the family dynamic is sort of shaken up when she comes home. Any spouse that's been gone for six months 
and coming back into a situation throws the routine off. And obviously, I think Neil's used to it and knows how to deal with it. I hate it when she's here. Hey, we don't say that. Finish your meal. The teenager, Kate, has a little bit of a tougher time readjusting when she's home because I think she's in a nice routine with her dad. And now mom's home. And you know what is that going to bring? Taylor said something really powerful. He said, this is also a love story. And he goes, I want the hope of those two people that met in college. She had already chosen her path, and so did he. And in reality, in their own respective ways, they are people of service. They know that their duties come first over their own personal lives. They've accepted this. Are you seeing anyone? No. The only way they can make it work is by being completely honest where they're at, so if that means that they have to open up their marriage in order for them to save their marriage, they will do that. What are you doing in Kuwait? My cousin. Uncle. Uncle Buck. She gets thrown into the mission right away, and I think there's some nerves there. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anything about her. But she's a badass. She doesn't back down, so she's ready to complete the mission. Sorry, As Asifa. American. Yeah. We meet Alia, and it's not quite evident at first where she stands, but I think she's quite forward. Here to find a husband. Mm. What? With that face, it won't take long. There's a little interaction that happens, and she really takes Cruz under her wing. Yella, this will be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think she recognizes a certain lost soul in Cruz and can relate to that, although it's not maybe brought to the consciousness of her awareness, but she definitely sees a naivety and an innocence in Cruz that Alia feels like she can sort of navigate and show her the world for the first time, and in turn, she gets to see the world with new eyes. She's in. 